let's get out of here. I, I'm, I'm alright with sacrificing those. Oh, I did- okay. I, what's going on, warriors? Welcome to another episode of The Messenger. Um, I'm really enjoying this game, and we are back for another episode. Um, I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try and break all the power seals. Um, I just also want to say that if you're enjoying this series, and please feel free to, uh, you know, leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord server, because that helps out so much. And what is this? Just a crazy crystal full of time shards. What is that? Be lootful and multiply? Destroy a big time shard. That's what, it, that's what it was. Anyway, also, I want to thank, uh, Shen so much for being my Patreon supporter. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, then please feel free to click the link down in the description below. Um... You know, that would be awesome. That would be totally awesome and very appreciated. Also, I'm falling. We're in the catacombs. Was I meant to fall down here? I actually don't know, but I just landed, like, so well. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were an undead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a phobikin? Phobikin? You're a tribe of builders, technically very hardworking. But every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. Phobikin? What's your name? Necro. Necro? So you fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above, and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for sna snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Oh. Well, that sucks. Yes. Wait, wait, what? Oh, I didn't read that. I thought it was... Oh, gosh. No, God. Uh, no, just die. Just please. Okay, I just... I had to get those other two. Okay. Oh, these are other- okay, so these are lanterns just the same, how these, uh, these will give you time shards also. I wonder if you could destroy them. That would be kind of bad, I think. Oh, crap. Okay, well, actually, well, it's not too bad. Wait a second. Are the shurikens just- the shurikens are just the same- same power as your normal attack. Why would you- I mean, it's range, but I feel like I want that to be a little bit of higher damage, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I have Oh, this is some crazy crap here. Oh. Oh, I'm good. Uh... Wait. Oh, whoa! Oh, hold on! Okay, we're good. We can climb up here. Where? I don't know where I'm supposed to go! Uh, excuse me? Sorry? Oh, okay, well this is not too bad, I guess I... We got the chi power, or the key power, sorry. Oh, well, another big time shard. I'm so okay with this. Let's get some time shards, baby. Alright, I'm totally okay with that. We got 180, 185 now. At first, I didn't know where to go, but I, I guess that was just, you know, nothing special there. Oh, crap! We're good. And you cannot move while you're crouched, by the way. That would... It would kind of be cool if you could if you could do that, but... Oh no, come on. Oh no. There we go. We're good. And there's some more... This is not like a boss or anything, is it? No. No, just, just one little bat there. But you gotta... That's the key, is you gotta cloud jump over there. And that gives you... That gave me, like, all, all my stuff. I mean, it gave me a bunch of time shards and it filled me up on hit points and key power. Every time I say, every time I say key power, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm saying, like, like a key to open doors. Okay. I don't know what this is. Let's see what's going on here. I just realized I forgot to have my timer on. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Okay, timer. Timer going. Timer currently going. I'm getting dozens of text messages. In a very short period of time. Okay. 
We're good. We're good. That was so bad. Is this just water? Is this gonna hurt me over time? Oh, that's cool what happens to the music, by the way. <gasps> Whoa, okay. That scared the crap out of me for a second, but I think it's alright. Oh, we get we get saved. Well there you go. Still 43 more power cells. Yeah, yeah, I was actually gonna say that guys. There's actually a total of uh Hold on, leave. There's actually a total of 45 power power seals, so if you get 45 total then then you're good. You're all good. Alright, so we could do the underwater dash. I would really like to do the aerobatics warrior, but I have no idea what, uh, like, how to even unlock it. Let's, let's unlock this. And that's all we can get. A losing weight, gaining ground, and hope this Phelps. Buy five upgrades in the shop, and hope this Phelps is, is probably the, the water thing. Let me just check really quick. I just want to check my achievements. I'm curious as to, uh, what the, uh, the thing is there. Hope this Phelps. It's gotta be something to do with the, uh, you know... It's gotta be something to do with the swimming thing. If this doesn't pull it up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hope this Phelps. Buy the swim dash upgrade, that's it. What? Come on. Are you kidding me? That's it, that's just this. That's, that's very simple achievement. Oh, okay. Why did I think you could attack that? Oh. Okay, hold on, just crouch. Alright, we're good. Just remain calm. Okay. Okay, we're good. Um. Uh, I don't know what this is. But I've just gotta just follow these things. Oh, you can just hold this. You don't actually have to hold the jump. Oh, crap! Okay. Well, now I'm in here. And that restores hit points. Oh, and key power. So I can open more doors. Oh! Oh, well, good! This actually re resets the things. Oh, crap. That's bad. That's very bad. Let's go up here. Again. Okay, um... Oh, come on! Okay, good. Oh, but if I kill him, I get an extra time shard. But I don't know if it's worth risking death. Oh, gosh. Can I just... Yes, I killed him from there! Sweet! I didn't, actually didn't have to go over there. Oh, gosh. I have to be... Oh, oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, that dash really <laughs> helps. <laughs> or should I say... That dash really felt. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, we're good. I thought it was gonna be bad, but I was, uh, I was wrong. Can I just jump straight up? Is it gonna let me do this? Oh, well, sort of. It does sort of help me do this. Or let me do that. I'm- Oh, crap, I did not see that skeleton. I did save, and I got some hit points back from it, but... <laughs> yeah, I saw that skeleton, though. Okay. Well, okay, which way do I go here? Do I just go down here? Can I... can I? Oh. Well, that doesn't do anything. Luckily, it doesn't trap me. Maybe it's just to look down here and see... Yeah, maybe it's just to look down there. Okay, so you just gotta fall there. Now, for getting up, that's gonna be a little more complicated. Ah, not too bad. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Uh. I, uh, what? Oh, you've gotta swim all the way up, I guess. Okay. So we just gotta fall down here. And this is gonna just go to him anyway, so I'm good. I mean, well, I mean, I, like, I, I slightly care, but not too much. Okay, so yeah, you just swim up here, I guess. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty easy. Once you actually learn how to do it, or what you're supposed to do. Uh, I kind of want to go down there. Am I going to die? Oh, I'm going to freaking die. I mean, they, they kind of like... Zig when you should have zagged? Oh, I know. We got to go back down here. All right, that's fine. Just do it. Do it to it. The delay, the delay with that is is definitely enough to where it's very easy to do. Okay, the, this is a little animation bug, I guess. Looked like I was gonna get crushed there on my leg, but that's fine. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay. All right. Luckily, it was just hitting the spikes, which is that's that's actually okay. Can I actually throw? A, oh sweet, I could throw a shirk in there. Is it just, is it like an energy shuriken? Or is it just like a regular metal shuriken? Because I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm swimming, I, uh, swimming. I don't think I'm swinging like a, like a, an energy sword or anything. I'm pretty sure I just have a regular sword. Alright. Uh, I actually don't need to go for those hit points. I'll just climb up. Like, do they think people don't know how to jump off walls or something? Or is there, is there like, uh, an achievement for, like, completing this game without getting hit once or something? I mean, it must be something like that, because, because these, I mean, the wall jumping sections where you kind of have to, like, jump up fast instead of just climbing up, I, they're pretty easy, to be honest. If I'm being, like, totally 100% honest with you guys. Oh, I didn't realize I had to go over there. Alright, not too bad. I mean, I, I get how you have to deal with these creatures multiple times in the same screen, but... Oh. Okay, that could be interesting. Okay, interesting way of introducing a, a new kind of enemy. That's cool. That's totally fine. Okay, let's see. Wait, where am I supposed to actually go? Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! <coughs> Clever. <coughs> this is the boss? Oh man, I just got some fun in my mouth. Uh oh, uh oh. I just looked away for a second because I got a YouTube comment reply. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, we've got this. All, we, all we've got to do is just rush for the guy and just like hit him twice. Oh, I forgot to look at him. Got him. That oh, wasn't so bad. Well, but now, okay. Well, actually, no, because you can cloud jump like that, and then you can do that and get those time shards. That's fine. This actually is not too bad. This this game, I mean, I I I mean, I assume that it's gonna get a little harder than this. It's and it's very fun. Don't get me wrong. It's actually really really fun like this. And um, you know, I'm. I'm, if it's even if it stays like this this difficulty for like the whole time, then I'll just I'll be totally fine. I don't need to kill that guy do I? Even if it stays this this difficulty for the entire game, like I'm totally fine with that. And it looks like I can just go on this guy. I just got a duck. Um, you know, but I'm assuming it is going to get harder. And I don't know why some people say it's difficult. Like is it like it's a super hard game sometimes because it's actually not too bad. Okay, I can see I can see how that could be a little bit of a challenge there, but but see, it's it's really not too bad. I I mean I'm liking it. I'm really really enjoying the game. I might have to write a review for the game if uh, you know if I finish. Okay, sorry. I can't say. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay. Good. We're good. Yeah, I'm really I'm really liking this game. I'm I'm kinda getting into the swing of it. Where I'm sort of getting used to the controls a little bit and Oh jeez, I didn't mean to do that though. I am still pressing control when I need to press space. I'm assuming if you don't hit that wizard like a second time, like 
I'm assuming he gets back up and like recovers. I mean, why why else would they have you hit him two times like, if he just stayed there and did nothing? So I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll get back up and recover. And also, I haven't really decided on a good episode length for this series. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure if I want to do... Whoa, why did he run away? Why are these guys... Why are they running away? Oh. That's fine. Okay, now this could be a little bit problematic here. Maybe. No, maybe not. Well, that could be. Well, that definitely could be. Okay. Alright, you got my attention. Okay, let's get out of here. I, I'm, I'm alright with sacrificing those. Oh, I did- okay. I, <laughs> I didn't- I don't know why, I didn't pay attention to that. Can't really play that one off with you should see the other guy. The death was very grotesque or something. Okay, so I don't really need to, to worry about the, uh, the time shards or anything for this- for this part. It's fine. I'm really liking this. This this game is really scratching an itch that I that I have had for a very long time for a nice, fun platformer game that's just it's simple and it makes you feel you know rewarded for uh, for the gameplay. Kind of like kind of old style, you know. It's it's really retro style. And you know I never played Ninja Gaiden, but I've heard that this this game was inspired by Ninja Gaiden. I, I'll tell you what Ninja game I did use to play though. It was um. I, th I think it was called Ninja Shadow of Darkness. I used to play that with my big brother, and um, and uh, that was a really fun game. And I and I saw gameplay of it the other day, and I was just like, it, I was getting so nostalgic because I was just like, oh man, I just remember this so much. Okay, all right, we just have to wait for the projectiles there. Okay, alright, we're alright. We lost half of our hit points, but I think that's alright. Oh man! Okay, well, I didn't mean to do that. Crap, son. We've got two hit points left. Let's wait for that thing to go down so we don't get crushed, and then we can run again. Alright, we're good. Alright, now we just have to avoid these projectiles. And again, we can we can hit those projectiles, which is pretty useful. I thought, I thought I would be able to get that. I did not. Oh, and I'm gonna die. Okay. And I've gotta go way back. <laughs> I saved your life 11 times already. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's not... Let's not lose all of our hit points. We died already. We definitely died already. Dang it, man. Now, I'm not gonna read all those quotes. We're gonna make it to the next checkpoint. I know we will. Please let me know, by the way, in the comments, like, what you think of this game, and, you know, are you... Am I playing this well? Am I s totally sucking at it? Like, what do you what do you guys think of the series? If you are definitely enjoying it, then please let me know in the comments, because I'm, I'm basically... What I'm doing with my channel right now is I'm trying out a bunch of different types of games to see what people want to see from my channel. And so, <clears throat> if you want to see more of this stuff, then definitely let me know, because... Because, um, you know, I like, I like to play lots of different types of games. I definitely prefer, like, strategy, but I'm all for this kind of game, because it's, it's, it really is scratching that itch, like I said. <clears throat> kind of a retro-style platformer, as I said, and just being able to go crazy and feel very rewarded in the process. Okay, let's just jump over here. Okay, well, I didn't really need to do that, but... I can still just jump up here and then climb. Okay, and then, like that. Good, we're all good. Okay, and then I just go over here, jump. All right, we're good, and we still have, we still have five hit points left out of six. Oh no, oh no, you're not doing that to me this time. Frickin' fricker. Oh gosh. Okay, so I sort of, maybe I see how it gets difficult, is maybe, maybe the way they make it difficult is not by, like, actually increasing the difficulty, but just by increasing the time between checkpoints, perhaps. And I haven't seen any power seals, but... Anyway. 
Okay, so enemies will sometimes be able to drop a globe that restores one key charge. I think I would rather get the hit point thing. Yeah, and then next is defense up, incoming damage of two or more will, will not be reduced by one. Okay, so landing on the spikes actually currently, currently does three damage, but it would then do two if you got this. This is a thousand crystals, though. A thousand charges. And HP plus one, concealed chain mail. Okay, that, that means concealed chain mail. And then if you do this, checkpoints will now restore hit points up to five and refill all key charges. That's pretty good. We just gotta do all that. Wait, what is this? Devils do? Reduce Corbel's fine for saving your life by 50%. That's pretty good. I really want to know what that is. All right, maybe maybe that's the power seal one. Anyway, um, guys, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord server, and become a Patreon supporter if you really want to support me in that way. That being said, also I want to thank Shem for uh, being my Patreon supporter all this time. It's going on a year almost. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.